Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... when I told her to stop bad-mouthing her husband. And the delivery probably was messed up. But for you to hold on to this and then bring it to the show booth without, without a conversation with me, I cannot respect that, sister. I cannot. All right? Well, um, I hope I explained everything to you. Some MDs have a su- su- superiority complex. They don't see Dennis as real docs. I don't make the money more than them. And they don't be making more money than I know they don't make more. I know they don't, especially with the hours they put in. But anyway, we're going to pray through this. I hope y'all understand my frustration and my anger. I really try to keep my lives light and funny. That's why I was laughing so hard because I knew the punchline. Go back and look at the YouTube videos. And you know what? The interesting thing is, now I ain't going to say that, but it's interesting that I know who I can play with. Jackie don't care. For example, it's a great example. Look back at Funky Dineva's vlog. That boy told me up. All I can do is laugh. He know I ain't going to get mad. But 
but he real sensitive with quad because he know she'll get mad. I don't give a damn. That man said I was old and he thought I had been through menopause. And what else did he say? He said I didn't know how to do what I said I could do because my daughter's sitting over there. He said I didn't know how to do what I said I was doing. I was lazy with it and all this. Go back and look at his vlog. He talked about me like a dog and it's hilarious. Talked about me like a, I was like, boy, when I saw it, I, I spit out my food. But I'm saying this is the same kind of thing. But I think that, like, like you say, if you know who you are, I don't know. Maybe we just cut from the same cloth cloth because we from Miami. He told my answer and it was hilarious. I, I could I, like I could go back and say, well, dude, you you said that they nobody want my damn husband. And why would you bring my I want him. You know why I want him? Because he good to me. He pay the bills. He prays with me. He protects me. He treats me like none other. I know y'all would want he would want he would want a man like that. I'm just saying. But it's funny. Fun, fun, funny. So my YouTubes are usually funny. All right? So Jack it and takes me three times. That means I got to get off land, y'all. Hopefully I answered y'all questions. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. I'm going to continue to review the show every week. Most times on Sunday night. I'm going to try to do it at 10 o'clock. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Um, Y'all boobies came through. And I'm glad y'all smart and y'all saw through this BS. Because either this girl is crazy as hell or she faking it. One or the other, pick one. All right. Talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Hey, Google. Y'all, did y'all hear Dr. Heavenly go off on Katessa? It was nobody else she really was talking about except for Toya. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, my goodness. The episode was a trip, and it was a mouthful. But when Dr. Heavenly came on her YouTube channel trying to straighten some curves in what was probably being shown, or she didn't want the message to get lost in the translation that uh, Toya and Contessa was trying to, to promote, okay? <laughs> I'm like, you either love Dr. Heavenly or you hate Dr. Heavenly or you riding the fence with Dr. Heavenly. I mean, she is a trip. She, she's a trip. She's a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Not a wildflower. Uh, uh, I don't know, a burst of energy going the wrong way half the time. But like I said, you either love her or you like her. Now, I have not personally met her before, but my uh, brother actually visited her dental office and gave them uh, uh dr heavenly you know was working on his teeth and they even gave him a um a picture of her so she's very friendly when it comes to her patients now very friendly very outgoing he even said she was sweet but he don't know why she be going off on these women on the show and i said half of it is them and half of it is scripted it just is what it is but i could feel dr heavenly on this situation because Contessa, <coughs> from a, well, I want to say the inception of at least maybe two years of her being on the show, she's always tried to blame her husband for her shortcomings. Because everybody knows, look at here, look at here, God is first, then your spouse, and then your children. But if your spouse is not acting godly and not doing godly things, then you just have to excommunicate him and have uh what i say the lord then you and then your children okay it's just really how it is uh from what i've understand and when i was looking at the show when they uh, both of them were brought on I meaning contessa and her husband um he was like do as i say don't do as i do type mentality like i got this house i got this money and you're just gonna live in it and just be whatever but they both were doctors so i'm like how did you lose your identity contessa to your mate who actually at the time was a physician and uh your husband i mean if you wanted to go out and do what you had to do for us educating yourself a little further and it being uh, uh, uh escape for you to get out and learn more and just be to yourself in your career then that's cool just don't ne don't neglect children because god knows if you wanted to have a career and 
continue your education and this, that, and the third. Now, you should have stopped that one child, and the maximum should have been two. But you went on and had number three, okay, trying to satisfy from what you say your husband needs to have a family. Because I tell you, one child and you and him, that's enough. That's, you might want to get a pet or something like that, but that's enough. You should have went on with the two and the three. should have stopped that one. Uno. Okay, not trash, but uno. But um, I can see. I can see. I, <laughs> like I said, when you come on reality TV, you come on these reality shows, you just need to look at, unless y'all were friends before y'all both or all y'all got on the show, y'all just got to see each other as co-workers. Because it's going to be some mess that's being said. The producers are going to catch it through the editing. And it's going to be played back. And it's going to be more emphasis on how the uh, producers spend it in the editing department than what it actually what actually took place or what was meant to be said other than how they portrayed it to be on television because you really with this whole intervention i was glad that at least quad said it like no this is an ambush no this is something we really don't need to put out on tv why are we doing this did you have a conversation with heavenly before you talked about doing an intervention because this ain't like substance abuse or you know, you were in something illegal or, you know, you're fighting some illness, but you're not fighting it the appropriate way, I meaning a logical, logically medical way. Um, just for example, you know, you, you're binging, you're, you're eating everything under the sun and then you're going back throwing it up then you have an illness you have a disorder that we need to talk about but if you go on and say i ain't got a problem i ain't got a problem but then your esophagus lining of your esophagus is weak because you had a physical and a doctor uh, noticed that through x-rays just a normal checkup then you kind of look kind of flushed and you kind of look you know not uh healthy being thin you know what i'm saying it's like you get to that sickly looking where you're not doing things appropriate but you have this disorder in your head where you're seeing one thing but it's definitely not that you know and they contessa tried to put an intervention on dr heavenly like she's gonna give up her youtube channel well one first and foremost she likes to talk so it's an outlet for her secondly She's getting paid money. See, Heavenly don't touch anything unless it's going to pay her some money, some residual something. She ain't going to get up here and just offer her kindness or help or whatever, even though it may come across to that. But nine times out of ten, she got her channel monetized. And, okay, she got the viewership and she got the numbers of subscribers. So that kind of delegates that she's getting paid on her YouTube channel. Now, how much she get a, a month? I don't know. You know, I'm pretty sure with her numbers and her views that she gets in, she gets a nice penny, okay? Because it's all about how many views you get. Not necessarily the subscribers, but the views, the clicks and the views. That's why you always hear people say, oh, you just there for that click and that view. Pretty much that's what everybody that's on YouTube that's getting monetized really wants you to do, okay? But I kind of like the... Uh, the subscriptions as well because it seems like a lot of people may think of like me or they like what i say so it's a good telltale sign but that's not really how things go on youtube as far as mon monetization and getting paid okay uh, but anyway i did that personally I, I think everybody should take it in stride just like what she knows dr heavenly she knows dr heavenly gonna speak her mind she knows dr heavenly really don't mean to be as aggressive and direct but when you when she's passionate about something it kind of overflows to the negative like she just want to tell all your business but again you're on the show you're showing your business just like toya she's like she move she move every season she move every winter fall and then she tries to uh, stay somewhere during summer and spring. You see what I'm saying? Just don't what she doing out there just don't make no sense. And I heard the rumor that she probably got rid of her dream home to pay for her bills that were mounting up. And she knows she needed to try to exceed what she did have because she got to keep up with the story. And to me, seeing Eugene on this uh, episode, that man's tired. It ain't got 
well, <coughs> excuse me, what I feel is some of it is about uh, is about losing patience to over it and how it makes you feel and how it makes you want to protect yourself because it is an unknown thing but how they're categorizing over it now it's more like getting the flu or the flu and the pneumonia mixed up if you catch it in time enough you won't have no uh bad uh way of healing from it and you don't die from it but you know, every case is every is different. Every case is different. That's all that I can say. Every case is so different. But uh, you could tell he's just tired. He's tired of probably moving around. He's tired of defending his wife. He's tired of her spending money that he has to cover. And to tell you the truth, Toya can't get a job. She need a job. Not just this job, but she need a job. Where she's out and about and we're doing and we're seeing things. She don't need to be at home or she's spending at home, at home time and raising the kids and making sure they good. Then you should not be wanting to live a lifestyle over and above what your husband makes. That don't make no sense because you, you sending him to an early grade. And do you think you would get another man as sensible and laid back and don't really... uh. <laughs> Don't let you really run the show or you, you run in the show because he's letting you run the show because he don't want to be bothered with it. He just want to be able to go make a living for y'all and come home and relax. But he can't even come home and relax. He ain't like Dr. Uh, Heavenly's husband. He going to tell Dr. Heavenly what she going to do and she not do. What is affecting him when another man come and tell him something about his wife and he kind of understands where it's going. He told her to get off that Twitter. Get off. Don't, don't want to see her on it no more. So she picked up YouTube. So as long as Dr. Hamlet don't talk about the men, I think they safe. Because these men are kind of good with not trying to get into their wives' business. Because, you know, men business is men business. Wives business is wives business. So I like that fact. But I don't know. You, Eugene, to me, just takes too much. And Contessa husband, he just wants it to all be like for him. He wants to, her to cater to him and then his children. And it don't go that way. But I'm like, uh, Dr. Heavenly, look, looky, looky, looky. If you're going to stay with the man, if you're going to uh, be passive with the man, you're not going to stand up for yourself, then that's you. Okay, but if you want to do the right thing, if he don't come out of his uh, one way of thinking of how he looks at you, he doesn't give you the space to grow as an individual, as a wife, as well as a professional. Then you need to go. You need to excommunicate out the marriage and hopefully you'll find someone else down the road. Because what he's doing is exactly what uh, Dr. Hemley said. And I, co I really wholeheartedly agree, agree with her. You can verbally abuse somebody. Verbally abuse them and make them feel some kind of way mentally. But it doesn't mean that you go... Tell all your business to your so-called friends, which was Dr. Heavenly at the time. And then, once you done emptied your vessel of all that, you go back home and act like you're uh, a hunky-dory. The whole situation is hunky-dory. You feeling good. Everything's good. When it's not. You know, like Dr. Heavenly saying, how many, how many people do you have within your body, baby? How many individuals is living with you? Because... What you're telling Dr. Heavenly is something totally than what you're living and you're telling everybody else. Or you're telling yourself that hopefully you will believe it one day. But again, it just is what it is. You don't put your business out there. Your business can't be told because it's between you and the Lord. And I guess your family. But uh, yeah, that was kind of cold tonight. That was cold. And Dr. Heavenly is hot as, ooh, she mad as hell. And she said she, what she said means she ain't getting off of YouTube. And she will continue to drag Toya. She will continue to make Contessa look more stupider than what she is looking for us to preview. Because, hmm, <laughs> whoo, that was a mess. And, oh, I'm glad I never had any so-called friends or foes try to put me in an individual. Shit, I've been tearing up a whole house. Knowing I got the money to replace anything I tear up. <laughs> Unless it's something that's not even uh, being made anymore or something like that. Then, yeah, it's going to be one of those type of things. But, honey, I'm so glad Dr. Heavenly left that house. 
Because she didn't have nothing else to say to anyone else. And like I said, Quad was a stand-up person. Because she said, uh-uh, this ain't going to work. Nope, this ain't going to work. No, 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 no. But she was there. She put, took part of it. It kind of seemed like she was trying to drop a little hint there. But um, Dr. Heavenly wasn't uh, really listening to it. And I did feel <laughs> that Dr. Heavenly was wrong when they were showing her those video clips that the production team had got together for Contessa to preview in her uh, at home theater um she thought it was funny she just fucked that laughing like you know laughing at dr jacket laughing at simone laughing at quad and like they say uh it's not funny when the rabbit got the gun okay when a hunter is trying to you know shoot or take out a rabbit it's cool, it's good, it's hunting, it's the sport, it's the chase of it all. But when the so-called animal got the gun, the weapon, where they're going to be hunting you down, chasing you down, running you down, it ain't so funny. Same instance with Dr. Heavenly. Oh, everybody can talk about Dr. Heavenly, they can call it this, that, and the third. Oh, let Dr. Heavenly come and talk about you. Oh, she just being mean. Oh, she's not a friend. Oh, she's the devil. So I can kind of understand, because y'all knew Dr. Heavenly had a mouth from when she first came on scene on the uh, Merit of Medicine. She had a mouth then, and still do. So I don't understand you like a lover, or, you know, you be enemies with her, because we got Kenya over there fussing with Marlo. Okay, and Marlo saying she love her, this, that, and the third, and Kenya like, no, I don't want your kind of love. That's toxic. That's toxic love, and I don't want it nowhere around me. So, you know, they have their ways of taping and getting the scene in without having to have to say i'm her friend or we friends we good so maybe that's something um merit to medicine ladies need to uh take part in just be cordial with one another and if you're really not serious in holding and remaining a friendship with that particular uh cast kate uh what do you call it cast member then don't have nobody at your house. Don't invite them, them to any functions that you may have outside of taping with the women. Mm-mm. Not a good look. Not a good look. Not a good look at all. But that's all I got for this particular uh, review. Because really, I wasn't really so much reviewing the show. I was just trying to get in. And I wanted y'all to listen to what out of heaven it was breaking down to us. She was coming through with the madness. And she's saying she's going to ride the uh, Toya till she can't ride her no more. So I'm here for that one too. Because Toya, she do too much. And I the really, reason why I don't care for Toya is because she knows she has a good husband. She knows that man loves her and will provide for her and the family as best as he can. But she keeps adding all of this monetary stuff and uh, uprooting their family here and there to handle their financial problems or whatever. And then going, going and making themselves get further in debt. Because I thought that was the whole deal was to get out of debt and live, above, live in your means, not above your means. But Toya hadn't learned anything from probably season one or two. She's still doing what she want to do. She's still making her husband go out there and bring home the bacon, the frying pan, and the grease. Okay. And that don't make no sense. But see, I fought Eugene because Eugene has to stand up and fight for himself either. Uh, if he don't care about himself, then why should Toya care about him? I think he's overworked. I think he's tired. And I think he needs a reprieve. But if you can't sit there and have an honest conversation with your wife, on what's going on. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. So if. Um, what's her name? Toy you want to run all over him. Run him in the ground. Then so be it. So be it. But that's all I got for this particular video guys. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye bye.